Hi guys, how's it going? And as you read in the title, I'm gonna be sharing with you my everyday hair care routine for the next week. Some tips and tricks that I follow to keep my hair healthy and long and how I deal with dirty hair because I only wash my hair every seven days. Hi, my name is Dodo and I make natural beauty videos here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be part of the Pura Vida family. So basically on day one, I already apply my overnight hair trick Man, most of the time you guys know that I apply an oil I mean it's kind of obvious at this point but yesterday I was feeling a little bit lazy so instead I use this product that it was gifted from save me from I apply it on my entire hair and just went to bed also this is the day where I pamper my hair and I use all of these hair care products that are gonna help my hair to stay hydrated for the next seven days I already washed my hair as you can see mostly my hair wash routine focus on on washing really really well my scalp if the scalp is not clean enough there's not gonna be a healthy environment for hair to grow I wanted to show you the two products that I use in the shower some of you guys been asking the shampoo that I use and this is the one it's called precious it's called Precious Nature from Alpha Park. It is 100% natural and it is for long and straight hair. They also have in the same line for other types of hair. After I'm done with shampoo, I don't use conditioner because it weights down my hair a lot and also makes my scalp super greasy. I don't know, it's something about conditioner that it doesn't work on my hair, but I still apply a protective hair mask. And the one that I bought for winter time is this one. I'm really obsessed with this company, so sponsor so once I'm out of the shower I let my hair air dry now the winter is here these microfiber towels are so helpful <laughs> they soak so much water out of the hair it only takes like 30 minutes for my hair to be almost dry as a leave-in conditioner I'm gonna use three drops of argan oil applied from the middle to the ends and for the rest of the day hair will be loose until it dries completely see you tomorrow good afternoon we are on day two which is my favorite date of the week because hair always looks so clean and so silky on this day on this particular day my hair routine focus on moisturizing my hair and my ends and the tangling my hair so I can avoid breakage the way I provide moisture to my hair for the next week by using an argan oil hair serum this one that you're seeing right now I only use one pump of this product which is enough to keep my ends very hydrated for the rest of the week if you're not a big fan of hair serums you can use three drops of your favorite oil ideally a light oil so that you can still provide some hydration to your hair without making it look greasy my hair routine after after today it's quite simple from now on I won't be using any hair products until the next hair wash day things that I never use throughout the week are heat conditioners and dry shampoos I just let my hair be so this means I just let my hair produce the necessary natural oils so that it can be strong and healthy in the long run this is day three from my wash and as you can see hair looks quite clean and roots are still oil free for the most part normally on this day and pretty much throughout the week all my focus goes to avoiding playing with my hair if you don't know constant touching or playing with your hair could do more harm to it than when you imagine first of all all the dirt and bacteria on your hands will be transmitted to your hair so of course hair at the end will get greasier faster secondly this habit will make your hair more tangled and frizzy because of the constant friction and the last thing is that doing this will disrupt your hair's moisture levels so if you can avoid doing this as much as you can that will be fantastic some practical options that work are putting your hair in a low ponytail, putting your hair behind your ears, using bobby pins to pin your hair behind your ears, or even braiding your hair. On day four, I wanted to show you how I've been showering for the past days without wetting my hair. Yes, I shower. Now that it is nighttime, I 
wanted to show you a hair growth trick that I always follow on this exact day that not only is gonna help you to relax yourself if you're having a very stressful day, but also will help you with hair growth, which is a simple two minute scalp massage that I do every other day before bed. First of all, before you're gonna touch your scalp, make sure to wash your hands. Now that your hands are clean, get into a comfy position, for example, on your bed and use your fingertips to massage from the bottom to the top of your scalp using a gentle squeeze motion like this. After I'm done, I'm going to comb my hair a little bit because I got some tangles after doing this and then tie my hair and go to bed. Hi guys, what's going on? We are on day five. As you can see, my hair is getting a little bit oily, which is not a big deal to me. As long as my hair is not itchy, we're good. So today's goal is to keep my hair out of my hands and out of my face as much as possible. If I don't do this, hair becomes insanely greasy. So throughout the day, I'm gonna keep my hair behind my ears while I work on some videos. As you guys can see, I'm using some bobby pins. And also, I'm gonna make sure to drink my two liters of water. This is so important because it helps to hydrate the hair follicles. Also, it keeps your scalp less greasy. And at night, all I'm gonna do is to tie my hair with this no crease hair tie. Good morning, my friend. This is how my scalp and hair looks on day six. Now that I'm just finished exercising as you can see my head is quite nasty it's already like so soaked in sweat at this point i am gonna go and wash my hair with only water and that's what i would recommend you guys if you exercise every single day i feel so clean right now <laughs> even though i didn't wash my hair with shampoo i wouldn't imagine going to bed with sweaty hair so at least the water is gonna help you to rinse out the sweat and tons of oils and also if your scalp is starting to itch a little bit it helps a lot to get rid of the itching and if you really don't know how to do this, it is so simple guys. Basically the same thing that you do when you're gonna wash your hair with shampoo, but in this case you only use water. I'm just gonna let my hair air dry and I'm gonna brush it because I am not a big fan of brushing hair when it's wet and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm not kidding when I said that my roots look incredible. This is how my hair looks on day seven and as you can see it's not so bad. But the fact that I washed my hair yesterday with water, I think that kind of like helped a lot my hair not to look so bad today. <laughs> now that my hair is so used to this hair care routine, I really don't struggle much with like super oily, greasy hair at the end of the week. Maybe sometimes, that's definitely going to depend on other things. For example, how stressful I am, what foods I'm eating, or if I'm drinking the enough water every single day. Even though I am not gonna wash my hair with shampoo today, I still need to apply my overnight treatment and then wash my hair tomorrow as usual. And then I'll just restart again the entire hair care routine that I kind of show you guys. So I really hope that any of the tricks or any of the little tips or anything that I did in this video, you can choose a few things that you can adapt into your hair care routine. Hopefully you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Pura vida!